The A. Sophie Rogers School for Early Learning here at The Ohio State University serves about 100 children from birth to age five in seven classrooms. And um, there's several distinguishing features of our programming. Number one is our classrooms are all mixed age um, uh, with children for, ranging from uh, birth to three and then also three to five. Um, and that's somewhat unique because a lot of times classrooms just serve one age group, like four-year-olds. Another feature of our school that's really special is we're really committed to a mixed income environment, which means that the children in our school range from children from very affluent families to um, children in families exhibiting a great deal of financial need and distress. We blend a number of funding streams to ensure that we can have a mixed income model and provide um, a very diverse environment with um, children from many different backgrounds here to engage with each other. Our staff here put so much work into doing the things that create a diverse environment. It means reaching out to families that might not speak the same language as you or have the same values. It means being really comfortable interacting with um, families and parents who may act or say things that are different than you do. In early education settings, if a program is committed to ensuring diversity of, of the children that they serve, especially regarding socioeconomic status, you have to really work for it. You have to um, find funding opportunities to support children from lower income homes, um, like publicly funded child care subsidies. In Columbus, Ohio, our mayor actually, our city offers subsidies and we also have support from Columbus City Schools to um, involve children. And then we also have scholarships and parents who pay tuition. Where is it? Uh, um, don't, don't kill it. Should we embrace a diverse environment in early education settings? Well, we're a diverse country, and to, to live in a diverse country, we have to understand um, one another. Um, if we don't want to understand one another, we become very, very siloed. Um, siloed as a function of our religion, our political beliefs, our neighborhoods, um, and that creates conflict and lack of understanding. And so if we can, from when children are very, very young, come to understand that in this society, people have different beliefs, they have different values, they have different languages and dialects and accents and skin colors. And um, if we can embrace that early on, then children are much better prepared to exist and thrive in a diverse country.